If you have to pick only one between two popular, classic, and iconic Cartier bracelets, The Love or Justin Clue, which would you choose? Ah, oh, it's tough, right? Especially if you love both. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all doing great today. In this channel, I talk about luxury, fashion, lifestyle related content. So if you like these kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe, turn the thread bell on for new videos. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. But of course, before I tell you my views, opinions and recommendation i want to share cartier's inspiration or story behind these pieces some interesting facts about them wear and tear and price comparison at the time i made my purchase to today's prices so in 1969 jewelry designer aldo cipolo created the cartier's love bracelet in new york a romantic breakup led him to conceive of the bracelet as he was searching for a permanent symbol of love he offered it to Tiffany and Co, but rejected it, so he took it to Cartier, and the rest is history. So more than 50 years after its creation, the love bracelet remains a mainstay of many, consistently ranking as one of the most Google jewelry pieces in the world, and with desirable ability to retain its value at resale. It indicated a new age of modernity in the way we wear jewelry today. So this unisex gold jewelry piece with tiny signature screws challenged the traditional idea that the jewelry's principal role was to represent our status and wealth. It was designed not for special occasions, but for everyday wear, securing to the wrist, of course, with its own precious screwdriver. Mine is loose, as you can see, because I lost some weight. I can even turn it upside down, which is not supposed to happen. It's not a good idea, guys, I tell you. So this is the new version. You can split it in two C-shaped halves and secure it together with two screws. One of the most interesting facts about this piece was its symbol. As love bracelets symbolize binding and everlasting love, Cartier originally only allowed couples to purchase the bracelet. The wearer of the bracelet would entrust her bracelet's screwdriver to her partner for safekeeping. Luckily, this rule is no longer enforced and anyone can buy a love bracelet of their own today. Another interesting fact is because the love bracelets became so popular, New York City hospitals had to stock Cartier's special screwdriver when patients needed them removed in an emergency. I actually remember sharing this with you when I was hospitalized last year and I forgot to take it off or bring my screwdriver. So a nurse had to wrap the bracelet up with some kind of a tape. I can't remember what tape was that uh, on my arm before the actual procedure. So there's also this airport security issue since the bracelet can't be removed easily and uh, often set of airport metal detectors. They're a pet peeve of security workers and many will keep the screwdrivers on hand specifically for that reason. But it never happened to me yet since I haven't traveled through the airport with the pandemic. And in any case, I'm going to bring my screwdriver just to avoid hassles. Love bracelets originally, by the way, have no serial numbers with them, but due to the large uh, number of counterfeits that were created the company began engraving each bracelet with unique serial number that is kept on file for proof of authenticity so just make sure that the serial number engraved in a bracelet matches the numbers uh, in the authenticity card and uh, despite being one of the most beautifully made pieces you will come across and the fact that it's one of the most loved pieces of luxury jewelry by Cartier. Uh, it's loved by celebrities and the rest of us in equal measure. It has some imperfections. So what are the 
complaints or issues about the love bracelet. Number one, sizing. This is common challenge because if you choose a bracelet the same size as a as your wrist size, it would fit too snugly and even feel uncomfortable. So if it's loose, it will move around a lot so it does get banged up. For comfortable fit, most people recommend going a size or 1.5 cm bigger. Most do not know this so they end up with a love bracelet that fits too tightly for uh, anyone's liking which is a problem for many and um, I suggest you try it again and again when you visit the store and see how it feels. Number two issue is locking mechanism. Cartier has made adjustments to the bracelet's locking mechanism. The locking system has been a big challenge, especially for individuals who own the older classic design where the screws came off entirely and would get lost easily. Even the new version actually, which is uh, this one, I check the screws at least once a month and tighten them up if I hear a clicking sound when I press the bracelet gently, it means I should tighten the screws. So having to work two ends to lock it in place is not something everyone wants to do, especially if you need to remove the bracelet frequently. In short, if this design appeals to you, but you cannot wear jewelry to work other than your wedding band, then this might not be the best jewelry option for the weekdays, maybe just for the weekends. Or you can opt for the smaller model which only has one screw in the end and the other end is hinged. And number three, of course, the scratches. Scratches and marks is just part of what comes with having the bracelet on your wrist 24-7. And uh, you know, you can't baby a piece of jewelry that is bound to get scratches. This has a mirror finish, so what do you expect? And for you to go to the store to get it buff prematurely is unnecessary because it will remove actual gold, which we don't like. So cleaning and polishing is acceptable instead of buffing. Now, let's talk about the Justin Clue or Joan Clue or JUC. This bracelet was designed in 1971 in New York by the same person who created the love bracelet, Aldo Cipolo, using the daring uh, yet refined designs from Cartier's beginnings. He added his flair and love for nuts, bolts, and screws. The JUC bracelet became a key piece in the Cartier collection, and it literally translates to a just a nail. It's one of the edgier styles of bracelets in Cartier's range, but inspired many more industrial style pieces. So this one is in pink gold and it comes in white, uh, yellow gold, plain or with diamonds like the love bracelet. It also comes in the small and regular or thick version. Mine is plain and in the thick version. So this was originally called the nail bracelet, but in 2000, the name was changed to Juan Clue or Justin Clue, which sounds a little more alluring at the time of launch. It made Cartier uh, relevant to a younger and more fashionable audience. The JUC features precise five ridges uh, before the head of the nail, which is indeed reminiscent of flat-headed hardware nails with identical engravings. You can simply open it by gently pressing the bottom ridge and push upward like so. The JUC is edgier like I mentioned and the design shows less scratches so it's more attractive to some and it can be removed without tools. So you can definitely remove anytime you want to and it's another factor that might be favorable. I can't really see any issue or con for this bracelet but some people don't like the pointed nail because it gets caught with some clothes so this is the pointed part and um, it hasn't happened to me yet the pointed nail is not sharp so it's not too much of a concern for me 
And unlike the love, most JUC wearers don't have an issue in airports. There's just one valid question, however, I believe from the bracelet, some people raise is if it is too trendy, too unique to have longevity like the love. The JUC is a known design from Cartier and even if it falls out of favor, it will still be a luxury Cartier piece that can be passed down brought out again or at least a conversation piece in the years to come it may not be as recognizable as the love which is a good thing for somewhere who want to be under the radar and i bought my juc uh, as a birthday present for myself and i never had issues so far like the unexpected or sudden opening of lock mechanism unlike some people experience they are probably superficial scratches, but you can't see in the naked eye, which I love. I can't barely see a scratch even if I use this a lot. And I sometimes I forget uh, taking it off before I sleep. But compared with my love, this is 24-7. I use it all the time and you can see so many scratches on the surface. At first, it was very frustrating, but I've learned to accept and get used to it. I've purchased my love July of last year, so the JUC is older than my love, but my love looks older than the JUC. It's definitely due to the flat surface. That's why it's prone to scratches. So now, let's go to pricing. I got both at the Cartier Boutique. The love bracelet was 360880 uh, at the time. It was just last year around July. Yes, July 2021. And today the price is 412,650 pesos. So there was an increase of 54,520. And for the JUC, I bought it for 398,000 pesos. But now the price is already 447,300 pesos. So imagine the increase, guys. I just bought the JUC January last year. Now, which of the two would you choose? For me, I love both and I do recommend both. Both are sturdy pieces and can be banged around a bit if you're a busy mom with kids. You don't have to worry as much as other pieces and both are beautiful, iconic, timeless, popular designs. In the end, it comes down to your personal style. If you want to wear something all day and night, both are great pieces. The love looks modern and simple, while the JUC has fun edge to it. But both can be worn alone or stuck together. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.